Hi, my name is Dan, and today we're going to be showing you uh, the French Squeeze watercolor paper stretcher. We're going to be mounting a piece of Arches 140 pound cold press on this half sheet model. So just hang on and we'll show you how it should be done. Okay, let's start with assembling the frame. This is a uh, frame designed for a half sheet of watercolor paper. We're going to be using Arches 140 pound cold press paper. You keep all the labels up on the frame as you put it together. This, uh, this is so it holds the paper above the frame as the frame is tightened. Okay, now let's put some paper on the stretcher. First of all, all the stretch bars are pushed in and this one slide bar or clamp bar is pulled out. All the screws are backed out as far as they can go and we're going to grab a piece of Arches 140 pound cold press paper. This is a half sheet. Centering it on the frame we make sure it is even both ways. Back, back it off a little bit where you can see it go past the edge. And if you'll notice that the corners are trimmed a little bit, they do need to have that. Now when it's centered you pick it up placing it in the frame you tighten the screw. Taking your finger, thumb, whatever, pushing this down, creasing the edge, turning it over and getting ready to do the second side. Okay, on the second side, folding that edge so it breaks the edge of the frame, you push it in, tighten your screws. Now what we need to do is we need to put a lit little bit of tension on what's been done. These are your stretch knobs. You tighten them to pull the bar away from the frame about 3 sixteenths of an inch. You do that on both sides. Now we're ready for the last two now we're ready for the last two sides. Okay, now the last two sides, you, you fold it over the edge, push the bar in, tighten your clamp screw. You need to get them kind of snug because watercolor paper, when it dries, it shrinks, kind of like a pair of Levi's. So you want to make sure you're holding it pretty good. Same with the last side, fold it over the edge. Now we have a rough installation complete. What we want to do next is show you how to remove the wrinkles. Okay, we're going to put a little, put a little tension on, on the stretcher. You now, you now have a flat paper that is wet and ready to paint on. You're ready to do a wash without any canyons appearing at all because it is, it's wet and it's tight. Now that we've given you a sample of uh, mounting the paper on the stretcher, we want to give you 
again some of the things that this product can do for you. One of the things is it does break down for travel. Uh, you comes apart in pieces. You can put it in a suitcase or a backpack. Go anywhere with it, and when you get there, have a full-size drawing table. Uh, you can add parts to it, making uh, with the purchase of just two other pieces, give you a whole new size drawing table. It clamps and stretches the paper, and then because you're stretching wet paper, you actually cause the paper to grow, so you gain uh, some of the paper that you lost when you clamped it. It works well on 90, 140, and 300 pound arch paper. We've also tried it on other brands, but arch seems to work the best. The hardware ne never leaves the tool. All the screws are all permanently attached, so you don't ever lose anything, or if, it, if you do break anything, it's all standard hardware. You don't have to buy a special part for it. While you're doing your painting, you can, uh, if you get canyons or dips in the paper, you can readjust your paper in certain cases. Uh, you can, when the paper is dry, you can re-wet the entire paper and re-stretch it again, making it flat all over again. Ultimately, if you want it to stay wet longer, the paper, uh, some people use 300 pound paper for that, uh, you can actually put a thin piece of styrene plastic down first this will hold the water to the paper and help it stay wetter longer. Thank you again today for uh, being with us and we really hope that you do enjoy your new French Crease watercolor paper stretcher. It clamps and stretches paper like no other.